My hydro bill is my second biggest expense after labor, and it is one of the was one of the biggest headaches. I would get phone calls when I was on holidays. I'd drive back from camping, just trying to keep everything up and running. Thousands of dollars a year just on maintenance and repairs on the refrigeration system. You know, he's 33 years in the business. Uh, he's a hands-on type of owner. He's been on the roof in bad weather, trying to jumper things out, get things running. He's had a high cost of operations for both energy and repair and service. So really what we're trying to do in delivering the OLPP is to help improve his life by providing something that is sustainable for him, for his company, and alleviates all of these stress points and all of these pain points that he's been experiencing with the legacy equipment. When I went on my own, because our background was automation and process, immediately knew that the core refrigeration systems that you're buying weren't, we can do better, right? If you do a good job at all the mechanics for, at core refrigeration, the energy comes on its own. For me, the payback is just over three years. I don't know of any investment I could make that would pay, give me that kind of payback, and so that's why I invested the money in the system. It's gonna save me a lot of money, and more importantly to my wife, it's going to keep me from being at the, on the roof at 2 o'clock in the morning trying to keep things run, running on a summer night. I can remotely access what's going on with the system. I don't have to be here. I can do it from my phone. I don't have to be on the roof to see what's up. John's stresses, John's way of life, what John became used to, wasn't a good way to think about how to go to work every day. I mean, he's a happy guy and he was living with it but he didn't realize that it could be getting a whole lot better for a whole lot less. There's a big smile on a guy's face, but not only his face, the employees that now don't have to empty cases because they won't hold temp because the defrost schedule was from an old mechanical time clock. You know, all of these things we're talking about interrupt a normal daily routine. They add labor, they add movement of product. It doesn't matter how you encompass all of these steps. Every day, 365, we have now changed their way of life and their way of doing business. Grocery is a prime target for us because really with uh, the OLPP architecture, when you have uh, an application of medium temperature, so your dairy, your fresh meat, your produce, with an application of your low temperature, so your frozen foods, your ice cream, that actually is, the, is a prime opportunity for us to deliver the best results. And from what we've seen in previous projects, we have delivered anywhere between 60 to 80% reduction in the energy cost in delivering the same cooling capacity. So it is a really a noticeable and impactful result that we see for grocery applications like PIMS. The payback was so short, I couldn't turn the deal down. And that's why I made the switch. When I come in in the morning and I look at my equipment, and I've got the meat case is like 40,000 BTUs and the dairy is probably 32,000 BTUs. And I'm using less electricity than I am at home if my two girls are using hair dryers at the same time. I wouldn't think it was possible, but it is and it happens. It's for real. Um, it's great.